Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to set up the Amazon Fire Stick Lite right after this. If you are new to my channel and would like to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks for Amazon Fire devices and product reviews, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you so much. So I just recently purchased the new updated Amazon Fire Stick Lite and I would like to show you how easy it is to set up the streaming device step by step along with some good tips and an extra bonus at the end of the video as this process also works very similar to other Amazon Fire Stick devices such as the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. So without further ado, let's dive right into the boxing and setup. So here's the brand new Fire TV Stick Lite version of the Fire TV Stick devices and this let's go ahead and see what you get inside the box and i'll explain what parts do what and whatnot and keep it very basic here's exactly what we get in the box we get a i believe this is like a quick manual guide which you guys take a look at later but i'm going to help you exactly set up this brand new fire tv stick light step by step so you really won't need this but it comes handy maybe down the road but once you plug it in set up you are good to go then we have the fire tv stick light remote control and this is this is the brand new updated remote control and while we're at it let's go ahead and put and the batteries inside the remote control so the way you do this you flip the fire tv stick light remote control backwards and then you go you actually flip it upside down and the easiest way to pop out the battery back door is by see where there's like a thumbprint like an indentation right here you press on that with your thumb and you push up and you can see that the, rem the remote back cover will come off and now you can go ahead and insert the two provided triple a batteries into the fire tv stick remote so the way you do this, it's actually showing that. So as you can see here, there's only one way to insert these AAA batteries. You can see that negative goes on the bottom and the plus, the positive side where the plus is, is on top. Let's go ahead and insert the first battery. Then we're going to go ahead and insert the second battery. And you want to make sure that piece of contact metal right there is actually on the bottom. And now you want to go ahead and insert the battery cover. Just lay it down about halfway and you just slide right up. And now your fire tv stick light remote control is good to go as long as that goes and here is the brand new and updated fire tv stick light this has the latest version of fire os this should already have on it fire os 7 but i don't want to get too much into details there but this is the fire stick itself and then we have the this is what they call the hdmi uh, extension or extender cable the way this works is that i mean you have two options to be honest you can this is the hdmi side of the fire tv stick light so when you look at the back of your tv you actually have um, almost every tv out there uh, as long as i can remember they pretty much all have hdmi ports some of them even have three or four or even maybe five different hdmi ports as long as you have an HDMI port in the back of your TV, you can actually plug in an Amazon Fire TV stick in the back and turn that basic TV into a smart TV, which you'll have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and a whole bunch of free apps and whatnot. So you can actually start streaming almost instantly. Looking at this Fire TV stick, this is the HDMI. This is the part. This is the side that plugs into the back of your TV. And here is the actually power port, which I'll get to that here in a minute. And speaking of, so just like I was saying, guys, this is the fire stick in my left hand and this is the fire stick hdmi extension so because the reason the reason why they give you this hdmi extender the main reason to be honest is that some tvs have don't have much space in the back when you look back there to plug in an hdmi uh device as such as the amazon fire stick light so what you can do is you can actually extend this if you look at the back of the uh, HDMI adapter, you can actually plug this into here, which I'm about to do now. You just got to make sure these two ports match up because you can only plug in HDMI one way. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in. And now you actually, your Amazon Fire Stick Lite is actually more flexible and you'd be plugging this into the back of your TV instead of the Fire Stick itself. You see what I'm saying here? So because this is flexible, so you should have a lot more space. It should be a lot more convenient to plug in any fire stick device into the back of your tv so once you do that then you, of course you have your this is your power cable it's a usb a on one end and then the other end actually is a micro usb let me let me show you guys here and this this is the part where you plug in, where you plug it in into the side of the amazon fire stick light this only plugs in one way if you're looking at this micro usb of course the top is flat 
and the bottom of the charging port it has like two prongs on it so you want to make sure that these two prongs when you're looking at the amazon logo you want to make sure this is the logo is facing up and you want to make sure that the micro usb the the two prongs are facing down so you can go ahead and actually plug this in once it's plugged in nice and snug and now you can go ahead and actually plug in your Amazon Fire Stick Lite power adapter. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. This only plugs in one way, by the way. So once you plug that in, so now we have the Amazon Fire Stick Lite ready to go to be plugged in into the back of the TV. And we have already also put the two AAA batteries inside our remote control. And one more thing about the Fire TV Stick Lite remote control, guys, that I do wanna mention before we go ahead and plug in the Fire Stick into your TV is that Right on top, this is your Alexa button. So you basically press and hold it until you hear the beep. And then you just say, what's today's weather? Or open Netflix or open Hulu or whatever the command that you want to use. And then we have the select button. And this is called, people also call this, refer to it as the OK button, which is the center button right here. And of course you have up, down, right, left. And then we have the home button that will take you to the main screen of the Amazon Fire TV Stick Lite. And then we have the play and pause button. Then we have the back button. We have the menu button. Then you have the rewind and the fast forward button. Then you have dedicated prime video button or down here. You have Disney Plus, Netflix, and Hulu. And this is if you are subscribed to, to any of these four services on the bottom. So the most three uh, buttons that you definitely want to remember for this tutorial is the select button, which is right here in the center. Then we have the home button the back button and the play and pause right here so let me show you the back what it looks like on the back of my tv which should be similar to yours all you have to do is find the hdmi port on the back of your tv any hdmi port and plug in the fire stick into that and also plug in the power adapter right, into so the looking at the back of my tv yours might look a little bit different but all all you have to do is locate the hdmi ports which pretty much almost all tvs nowadays they state that they have HDMI 1, HDMI 2, some even have 3 or 4, maybe maybe even 5 or 6. Uh, some of them even have a lot more HDMI ports than what mine does. What I like to do is, I like to start with HDMI number 1, but you can basically plug it into any HDMI port that you like. So let me kind of zoom in here. So you bring your Fire TV stick right here with the... You hold on and these HDMI ports can only be plugged in one way. So you just got to make sure that we're going to go ahead and go ahead and plug it into number one. So this plugs in only one way. And once you plug it in nice and snug, now we are all set on this side. So let's go ahead and plug in the Fire TV stick light into the wall. All right, guys. So in this picture, you can see that I have plugged in my Amazon Fire TV stick light uh, power adapter on the right hand side of my power outlet. So let's go ahead and turn on my TV and let's see what it says on the screen. All right, guys. So right now, it's, it's as you plug in your Fire TV stick like into the TV, it's saying it's searching for your remote. So what you need to do is you need to point your Fire TV stick light towards your TV and press and hold down the home button, which is these in the middle of your Fire TV stick light remote. Press and hold down the home button for 10 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and press that now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It might take ten, maybe fifteen seconds at the most. And now it's saying to go ahead and hit the play slash pause button, which is the button right underneath the home button. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now once you if you did that correctly, now you get to go ahead and choose your language. I choose to stick with English from the United States, maybe you're from Canada, maybe you want your fire stick in Spanish or whatever languages that you that you speak around the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the United States English. I'm gonna click the select button, which is the center of the Fire TV stick. Like I told you guys, it's called the select button, and it's also called the OK button. And now it says set up with Fire TV app or set up with a remote on the right hand side because you can actually set up your Fire TV stick to be used with your smartphone, whether you have an Android phone or an iPhone, or you can actually use the Fire TV Stick remote that they have supplied. I, I personally like to use the Fire TV Stick remote they supplied. So, But for this tutorial, it says, you on the right-hand side, set up with the remote. It says, use the on-screen keyboard to, assign, to sign into your Amazon account and connect the device to Wi-Fi. So right now, we're going to go ahead and set up or connect our internet to the Amazon Fire TV Stick Lite. So all you have to do is all you have to do on this step is click select, which is the center button again of your Fire TV Stick remote. 
and now it's going to show you all the Wi-Fi access points that, that are near your Amazon Fire TV stick light. Mine is CH 2.4 and as you can, see, you can see on the bottom it says signal strength is very good. Hopefully yours says the same or even if it has good signal that's fine too. And we're going to go ahead and click the select button. On the, once you select your Wi-Fi you want to go ahead and click on the select button on your Fire TV stick light remote. And you'll be prompted with this window. It says enter the password for your Wi-Fi connection. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that. And of course I'm going to go ahead and blur this out. And once you are done inputting your password, you go, you hover down to the bottom right where it says connect. And you, again, you click the select button or the OK button on your Fire Stick remote. So now it says connection successful. Now it's actually checking for the latest Amazon Fire TV Stick update from the Amazon server. This process might take 5 or 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes. So now it says once the downloading those updates is complete, it says sign in with your Amazon account. Or if you are new to Amazon, you can have a right to select new to Amazon, create an account. Of course, I am already an Amazon customer. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to click on, I'm going to highlight have an account, sign in. So I'm going to click select. And here you have two options to log in. You can either go to their website on the left hand side where it says sign in online. And you follow step number one, it says sign into your Amazon account at amazon.com slash code forward slash code. And then it says step two, it will give you this code where it says ETVCH8 to confirm that it's you adding this Amazon Fire TV Stick Light to your Amazon account and not someone else. Or the second option is on the right hand side where it says sign in with a QR code. You can basically, basically take out your smartphone whether you have an iPhone or an Android phone and you can actually open your camera and scan this QR code on the right hand side like it says in step one scan the QR code with your mobile device and then sign into your Amazon account the activation code will be entered automatically so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now right now I'm gonna scan that with my smartphone and now it says success and now it says registering your device registering your Amazon Fire TV stick light here is my name on the top it says this Amazon Fire TV stick light will be registered to your account you can either change account or continue for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and highlight continue and click on the select button. Now it says restore Fire TV. Now it says it looks like you are an existing Fire TV customer. Would you like to restore your Fire TV with your current apps, privacy settings, and parental control settings? I'm going to click skip on that. You can, you can choose restore if you like, but I'm going to click skip to make this as simple as possible for you guys. And now it says a world of kid friendly content. Of course, there's an Amazon app called Amazon Kids Plus. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna click on No Thanks as I do not have kids. But if you do, maybe this is something you wanna you wanna subscribe either now or later on. I'm sure you can add it later on after we finish the setup of this new Amazon Fire Stick Lite. So highlight No Thanks and click Select. And from here it says choose your streaming services. Now they're gonna give you. Uh, they're gonna show you a bunch of streaming services. Maybe about 10 or 15 different applications. Some are paid premium services and some are free. So it says everything is free to add. Some will require payment for full access as, as you can see on the screen. We're going to highlight get started in white and click the select button on your Fire TV Stick Lite remote. Once you do that, you will be able to choose uh, some of these popular services. It says which popular services do you want? So I'm going to pass on these. Um, I know these are paid services, Hulu, other than Plex. I'm going to click right on my Fire TV Stick remote. And these are also paid services. I'm going to keep going to the right hand side. If you're a sports fan, please feel free to install one or all of these sports apps that you like. Um, I'm, I am not myself, but I am going to go ahead and install the 2B free movies and TV shows. I'm going to click select on that. And as you can see now, there is a white check mark over the apps icon. And there's also the popular free movies and TV shows. This is another official app. It's called Pluto TV. This is very popular. I'm going to click select one time. And there's a white check mark on top of that as well. And I guess nowadays you can even add TikTok on a, on a Fire TV stick. But anyways, now it says once you have selected all of the applications that you want to be pre-installed prior to finishing the setup of the Amazon Fire TV stick light, now it says go ahead and click on, if you look on the bottom right of the screen, it says pr press the resume slash play button to continue. That button is right underneath the home button. We're going to click that one time and now it says the following will be added to, to your home screen. As you can see I selected Tubi and Pluto TV. 
finish is already, high, is already highlighted in light and white and selected click select one more time and now those applications are being downloaded and installed in the background that's what's nice about this and now it says your fire tv stick light is designed with kids and parents in mind i don't have any kids myself maybe you guys do if you if you do have kids around the house you can enable parental control but for me personally i'm going to click on no parental controls I'm going to click select and now it says welcome to your fire tv you can basically read these uh, basic information here on the screen you're more than welcome to pause the video and do that yourself got it is already highlighted on the bottom and white i'm going to click select one more time and now it says who's watching fire tv i already have my profile set up as chris as you can see or you can hover on the right hand side and, and highlight add profile you can add i believe up to five or maybe six different profiles on the same fire tv stick streaming device so i'm going to stick with chris i'm going to i highlighted chris and click select one time and now i believe it's going to take me to my Amazon Fire TV Stick Lite home screen and this home screen looks like very very identical to other Amazon Fire streaming devices such as the Fire TV Stick 4K and the newest and greatest and fastest the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. So the setup process you can use the same exact setup process on all of these Fire TV Stick uh, streaming devices just the same way I, sh I just showed you guys here a few minutes ago i hope you guys enjoyed this video but before i get going guys make sure to visit my website fire tv stickusa.com i will leave that link in the description you can also check out the downloads page if you like and there's also the tutorials page i think you'll find a lot more content and a lot more useful information if you want to go ahead and, and enhance your fire tv stick uh, streaming device just before i let you guys go here i want to let you know of my IP Vanish VPN that I am currently a IP Vanish VPN partner and so to com to com be completely private to have complete privacy and be completely anonymous with all of your personal information you definitely want to get a VPN the one I personally recommend is IP Vanish I've been using it for years and I completely love their service as they are number one in the industry when it comes to being completely private and anonymous and currently they have a great promotion for only $3.99 a month which is saving you 63% which includes ransomware and malware protection as well as these two are brand new features along with using their VPN services and honestly they have like hundreds and hundreds of, of uh, servers worldwide so if you're looking for complete anonymity and privacy from hackers and other agencies and other corporations then getting ip vanish is the best way to go so i will leave a special discount link only for my subscribers for ip vanish vpn services in the description below so once you click on that link you will be able to save 63 percent off of off of your annual subscription so i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video as i try to make it as simple as possible for everyone so if you found any benefits here, then please hit that like button. And if you are new to my channel, then hit that subscribe button as well. And click on the bell icon to stay up to date whenever I drop another video just like this. And if you have any questions or comments, then please drop me a line below and I will get back to you soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Take care.